but in the mirror it's looking correct. Well, obviously, because the mirror would be real life. <laughs> MLP4. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my October boxy charm here for you today. And as usual, I've gone ahead and opened up this box. I've tried out the products inside, so I've got some little mini reviews and ideas for you guys and thoughts and all that kind of stuff. So let's jump into it. So the theme this month is Come One, Come All Boxy Bazaar. Super duper cute. I always love the themes of their cards. They're just a cute little added detail, so I love that. First, I got a hair product. This is the Brio Geo Rosarco Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant Cream. I was really excited to see this in my box because I've heard great things about it. It says a weightless blow dry finishing and heat protectant cream formulated without parabens, sulfates, and phthalates. Naturally fortified, yes, fortified with rosehip, argon, and coconut oils. It protects against heat damage up to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, smooths hair and tames frizz, and enhances shine and softness. And this is a value of $24. So I did use this on my hair yesterday. Now, one factor when I used it, I had forgotten I was gonna use this and I'd already put my um, Living Proof 5-in-1 treatment on, which I love. So I'd already put that on and then I put this. So maybe I'm not giving it a fair shot because I kind of layered it with something else because my style didn't seem to hold quite as well yesterday. Now, I really didn't have to do a ton of touch-ups today. So, I mean, it, I guess, did hold, but normally my, my curls stay a little bit tighter on the first day and they weren't quite as tight by the end of the day, but my hair felt really soft. So, first using it, but not probably giving it a fair shot because I mixed it with something else. My thoughts are it might be a little bit too heavy for my fine hair, but I'm going to try it by itself and really give it a fair shot, and I'll keep you guys posted. Um, you know, I don't know. So my hair was soft, but my style didn't seem to hold quite as well. Then I got some brushes from Luxie. This is the Eye Blender Brush Pack. And it says, we collaborated with Luxie to bring you this fabulous eye blender three piece set. These cruelty free brushes are extremely soft and gentle enough for all skin types. An antibacterial coating helps keep the brushes clean and fresh. Blending your favorite shadows will be a breeze. And this retails for $36 or it has a value of $36 since I guess you can't buy this individually since it was just for boxy charm. But so I goofed and I had these sitting out on my vanity to use them and I forgot to use them. But I did use this one at the end kind of as like a final blending step, but I've used Luxie brushes in the past and love them. I think they are such nice quality. They're so soft. Oh, there goes some, you probably can't see this, but it's poofing powder. It's poofing powder everywhere. But I love their brushes. I think they're great. They're super soft, really nicely made. So what you get is kind of like a skinny, sort of a blending brush, kind of more of a stubbier kind of one, and then more of your traditional bigger blending brush. So this one I probably won't get as, as much use out of, um, but sometimes I use those for concealer. You know what I mean? Like I blend in my concealer with it because these brushes are usually a little bit big for my eye shape. So I am super excited about this. Like love their brushes and I'm always excited about getting good quality brushes in my subscription services. Then I got a cream bronzer. This is the Temp2 Shimmer Bronzer and it's a full size and it's a value of $29.50. It says SB bronzers have a silicone based formula and are oil free, non comedogenic and hypoallergenic. Bronze and contour the complexion with this beautiful shimmer finish. It says dab a few drops of this product with clean fingers or a synthetic bronzer brush and apply where the sun naturally hits the face, cheekbones, forehead, bridge of the nose and chin. So I did use this today and I really, really liked it. It's pretty pigmented. Like I started to use some of it and I was like, oh, okay, all right. But um, it's nice. Like it really doesn't take a lot. Like a little bit goes a long way, but I love the tone of it because it's like very kind of mid-tone. It's very, um, it's not super cool, not super warm. So it's the kind of bronzer color that I really love because you can use it for pretty much everything. In the monitor, it's looking pretty warm, but in the mirror, it's looking correct. Well, obviously, because the mirror would be real life. <laughs> so hopefully you're seeing it like I'm seeing it in the mirror, which is real life and not the way it's looking in the monitor. 
Oh dear goodness, what happened there? But anyway, it's a beautiful bronzer. I really like it. I'm glad I got it in the box. I think it's a nice one and I will definitely get use out of it. Next, I got a lip product. This is the Star Looks Ultra Matte Lip Paint. And it's a full size and it's a value of $19. It says an incredibly smooth long wear velvety ultra matte formula that provides full velvet lip coverage. Feels like you're not wearing anything on the lips and does not transfer onto your drinking glass or on the lips of your significant other. 12 hour wear with minimal touch ups. Says apply color on the lips using the applicator and blend in. Blend fast as this formula is super fast drying. So I got the color MLP4 Piquant. Piquant, P-I-Q-U-A-N-T. Oh my goodness, y'all are always having to tell me how to pronounce things and what things mean and I don't even know. Poor things, you're always having to correct me and help me out. I need some help. <laughs> so there's the applicator. It's a little like, kind of a small doe foot applicator. I really like this color. It's kind of like a, I don't know, wine mauve? It's kind of how I would describe it, like a deeper mauve. It's really pretty. So when I went to apply this, it was a little bit, well, it's a very thin formula and it was kind of streaky. So I kind of had to add more and keep kind of layering it to really get like opaque full coverage. Um, so now it's a little bit sticky on my lips, but it's probably because I used so much. So maybe I'll be able to kind of like get better with the application of this and use less because I don't feel like it would be that way if I hadn't layered so much on. So. That's kind of what I've, I'm experiencing right now. And it feels a little bit dry, um, but a little bit sticky. Honestly, it just feels like a liquid lipstick to me, which a lot of times they feel like this if I use too much. So, you know, I would, I would say if you like liquid lipsticks and you're used to that formula and that sort of a product, I think you'll like it. And I really do like the color of it. I think it's really pretty, nice packaging, and just a really gorgeous color for fall. And then lastly, I got an eyeshadow trio, which I'm always super excited about because I love eyeshadow. This is the Ibby, I-B-Y, the Ibby Beauty Threes Company Trio Eyeshadow. And it is a full size and it's a value of $19. It says these three must have shades are perfect for fast and easy eyeshadow contouring. Use the trio to brighten and define your eyes and make them appear dramatically bigger. And it's talking about kind of like how to use the shadows and you know, basically how to do a look, but I just really kind of, you know, played with it and did whatever. So I don't know if I followed the instructions or not. I was just playing with the eyeshadow. So let me show this to you. Let me get it open. I had to use a pen, but I hulked my way into it. So here it is, just a really pretty kind of neutral palette. I went ahead and swatched them and this is gorgeous. I think this is such a nice palette. Super nice quality. They blended really well on the eyes. I just use the matte shade in my crease. I use the kind of gold color all over my lid. And I use that kind of shimmery white shade um, kind of dabbed right on the center of my lid. And then I did use another shadow in my outer corner just for a little bit of definition. But I mean, no complaints whatsoever. I love the size of it. I think it's perfect for traveling with it. Um, I love that it's a neutral palette. I love that they gave us a matte and then some really pretty shimmers. I like how it performs. I think it performs really nicely. Super nice quality. Like I have no negatives to say about it. Maybe a little bit powdery in the pan, but a lot of shadows are like that. So that is not a make it or break it for me. So I love this. I think this is awesome. And I think $19 is a really good price for this. All right guys, so that's everything that I got in my box this month. So I just added up the value and it is $127.50. So another great value. I loved my box this month. I think because it's mostly color cosmetics, which are my favorite things to get in subscription services. So this box was a total win. I would say standouts, like ultimate favorites would be the eyeshadow palette and the brushes because I love those, but I really do enjoy everything. Still kind of deciding about this, but love everything else. So hope that you guys really enjoyed this unboxing and review video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you got in your BoxyCharm this month. If you want to sign up for BoxyCharm, I'll leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link, but if you do, thank you so much. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!